So I'm using the Acer Chromebook CB3111 here. 111? Yes, 111. This is the 199 Chromebook, $199 Chromebook. That's actually on offer for $179 recently at Amazon.com. The reason I'm doing this video is I want to show you just a really simple way to use the kind of clean computing um, method. Clean, encrypted, tunneled, and also um, a method that you can get out of very quickly without leaving any trace. Sh uh, control shift Q Q. I am out. No trace left on this Chromebook. Now let's take you back to the start, and I won't be able to do this in one take because I'm hand holding the camera here. Is here, but I've got a power washed Chromebook. Power wash uh, can be done with Control Alt Shift R, and then you restart, and then within 60 seconds you've got a power washed Chromebook. I've done that, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into guest mode. So this is that without logging into a, a user account in Google. So we've got a clean Chromebook, no user account being used. Now what you can do in, in, in this mode is to set up a VPN. Be aware that you're probably going to be connected to the internet before you set the VPN up. I haven't actually found a way of doing that. So there is a little bit of leakage in this method in that uh, as you log in, there may be some communications going on that is not VPN. So what you would do is basically you go to the um, settings for the Wi-Fi and you add a connection and you add a private network. And then you fill in your details. Now, I'm using hideipvpn.com um, where, where I've got um, a L2 TPIPsec tunnel to the UK. My details... Um, are on my phone in a yeah password protected area so I'm not going to fill that those details in and we'll take it from there and I'll talk you through what's happening so I've entered my details in there um, you'll get those from your provider those details and yeah it took me a couple of goes to get all this uh, right the only thing I need to put in there is my password and then I can connect save identity and password and hit connect the other thing you also want to do is just go back into that VPN configuration there and click automatically connect to this network. That's not automatically set. So once you've got that, you're um, you're away. Now you'll see down here we've got the Wi-Fi indicator with a little line underneath that's showing us that we've got a, a tunneled network there. And if I go to, um, well, I'm in Germany right now, so if I um, type what is my IP address, uh, Address. We should see. Oh, okay, sorry. Right, I've got an IP address that's coming out of London there. Now I am somewhere over there, and I'm tunneling across to London. So that is working. So what we've got here, just to recap, is a Chrome OS device which is built from the ground up to be fairly secure. It's not guaranteed 100% secure, but it is at least. Um, has a better chance of being virus free and less chance of attack both through networking pro uh, sorry networking um, services and through the browser than for example a windows pc we're in guest mode that means we haven't passed any of our google account information over the internet um, we're running a vpn an encrypted vpn over to london from germany here and if i really want to be um, very very secure i would use uh, h HTTPS, whoops, HTTPS connectivity to make sure that beyond the exit point of the tunnel, the traffic is still encrypted. So we've got encrypted HTTPS, uh, HTTPS going over an encrypted tunnel, uh, which is a nice way to keep things nice and private. Um, and of course, the other thing is this Chromebook is cheap, $179. This is the simplest way that I've found to give a clean, secure, uh, private, and trace-free um, computing method. Um, all you need to do is literally just hit that button and you are out of guest mode. Once you log back in, there's no trace of anything happening. We'll just put that, bring that back in again so that you can see that guest mode is has gone. There's literally no trace of anything happening there. 
So, Chrome OS, Chromebook, Acer CB3111, guest mode on a power wash system, login, connect to the wireless network, connect to a VPN, use HTTPS over that VPN, and you'll have a nice private um, channel. You will also have a computer that is unlikely to be hacked on a local network because of the um, hardened nature of the Linux build here. Um, and finally, you will be able to hit the power button, come out of guest mode and leave a zero trace of anything ever happening on that laptop. And I think that's a really nice proposition. It's easy to use, it's cheap to buy, and this thing is a, oh, I've got, I'm oh, sorry, that's nothing to do with it, by the way, that had a PDF on it with my password details on it. Um, yes, uh, this Acer CB3111 is 1.1 kilos in weight and can do about eight hours of web browsing. So really, really nice, compact, light, low cost, secure, clean solution. Um, don't hesitate to ask any questions in the YouTube Just comment section below. Give us a thumbs up because I think this is uh, information worth knowing and especially useful for those in areas of low freedom of speech. And I will be covering this topic a little bit more over the next two weeks as I'm going to Ukraine. This is one of the reasons I've actually set this up to help people over there overcome some of the restrictions in um, passing information out of the country. This is one of the techniques I'll be showing them. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.